Meanwhile, the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC earlier in the day staged a protest over the non-inclusion of its preferred candidate, Frank Kokori, in the National Social Insurance Trust Fund, NSITF board. The union is also protesting the violent attack on its members by thugs at the residence of the Minister of Labour and Employment, Chris Ngigi. After addressing journalists uh, uh, after the protest, NLC President Ayub Awaba, alongside his new pen counterpart, William Sokoreha, vowed to take the matter to the International Labour Organization, ILO. So Nigerian workers condemn in its entirety the use of talk to address issues of industrialization by the Minister of Labour. And let me also inform you, comrades, on the coming International Labour Conference in Geneva, precisely on the 18th of June, there will be protests by workers around the world to protest this nefarious activity by Ingege. No minister of labor in the whole member countries of ILO have used force, have used forgery, have used talks against its workers. And therefore we have communicated to all workers around the world and precisely on the 18th of June at the UN building in Geneva, Switzerland, we are over 10,000 participants will be participating at the International Labour Conference to celebrate the centenary of ILO. There is no better time to expose him. There is no better time to actually condemn such an act than that very auspicious opportunity. So comrades, as we are going to the ILO, we will also be there ready with our placards, with our flags, to actually condemn this act of purity, this undemocratic act against Nigerian workers. Comrades and Nigerian workers, we heard that the presidency has spoken. But Nigerian workers, we know the truth, don't we? We know. We know what is going on. If the presidency will come and defend their own, we too, we cannot abandon our own. Are we going to abandon our own? No. Comrade Kokori is a man of integrity. He's an icon. He's a martyr. So when has integrity become a crime? Our President Muhammad Ibrahim today have been given first mandate and also given another mandate because of his integrity. So why are some people afraid of people with integrity? The issue is not about cookery, but it's about integrity. About some persons that try to sweep integrity under the carpet. And Labour today is saying no, that the British administration believes in integrity. And anybody with integrity must be encouraged and also celebrated.